Many of you know that we have an infrastructure crisis. We need $4.6 trillion just to bring our infrastructure up to a state of repair. The good news is that this bank can provide financing for all of the areas of our country, the East Coast, the West Coast, the middle of the country. It can, be, it can build new roads. It can solve traffic congestion problems. It can put in new water systems uh, and wastewater systems that will not be contaminated with lead or dump pollution water into the into the atmosphere and into the um, into the waterways and best of all it will put so many people in good paying jobs back to work again this has been something that has been tried four times in our past it absolutely stimulates economic growth, it brings in new tax receipts, and it makes uh, businesses much more productive because our economy is much more productive. And this will come back into no new debt um, financed by the government, it'll be an independent bank, and it'll rebuild everything. So I hope you'll join us to tell your congressman that you're very interested in a national infrastructure bank to rebuild America's infrastructure. We've come here today for a series of meetings, both uh, uh, one day, half the people, another half on uh, the next day. We've been around to several states, uh, different cities, discussing the issue because there is a crisis in the United States as far as inf infrastructure is concerned because we're not doing anything about it and we're leaving ourselves open and our children's lives at ho open because we're not fixing anything or bringing it up to a state of good repair. So we're here today to discuss the bank and what we feel is people are listening to us uh, and they're, they're, they're agreeing with us that uh, uh, the infrastructure is bad and it's going to cost a lot of money to fix. We're estimating four trillion dollars. But the issue is nobody knows how to fund it and they just throw their hands up in the air and walk away. We believe we have a way to fund it. It's a national infrastructure bank. It's been done four times, always in the black, and has done an excellent job in fixing up uh, uh, or creating the infrastructure that we have in the U.S. A, a group of us have gone to several offices and the response, everyone believes that infrastructure is the most important thing that has to happen. The problem is paying for it. If we go back and we look at history, Alexander Hamilton actually created the answer back right after the revolution when he created the first national infrastructure bank. We're asking uh, Congress to reinstate that so that we can invest in people and be able to invest in our communities and make things happen. At the end of the day, that's what's the most important thing. I'm very proud and humbled to be asked to be an advocate for the National Infrastructure Bank. I'm here at Congress in Washington, D.C. It's a great idea. It's a very practical idea on how to fund infrastructure. It will create no new debt. It will take existing treasury bills, put them into a bank, and fund very important projects across the country. I believe strongly that we need to have that kind of a mechanism in order to be able to deal with the uh, retrofitting of our infrastructure. You know, we're running a 21st century economy on a 19th century infrastructure and we need to do better and to be able to deal with the needs of, uh, for instance, our, our constituents we, who are farmers and ranchers and have to deal with the lack of broadband. Uh, they have issues with regard to the maintenance of roads and bridges that are falling apart and that impacts our ability to take our product from the field to the market. So this is of great importance to us. I'm here lobbying in the halls of Congress in Washington, D.C. for a very important issue. And that issue is the National Infrastructure Bank. It has the potential to be the final disruptor in the school to prison pipeline because now we can have a process where people can get skilled trades and employment. Our country is desperately in need of new infrastructure. We know what happened to the children in Flint due to lead pipe and lead poisoning. We know what's happening in the Detroit public schools due to the lack of building infrastructure. The National Infrastructure Bank will provide a mechanism for which citizens will be able to change their lives. 
is the daughter of a postal union clerk and a school social worker. I've seen the impact of families having less than a living wage where unions are no longer uh, receiving the kind of living wage that families in blue collar and middle class families need. In the school system, I've seen many problems that result in lack of jobs, lack of living uh, wages. If this national infrastructure bank is approved, families will have for the first time probably in 40 years a chance at having living wages, having kids getting educated with careers that will be stand with them for life. 